completed our chapter number two, keeping safe. And in this chapter, we have learned about that we must follow some safety rules everywhere. Okay, even we are at home, in school, in the playground, or on the road. And we need to be careful and follow some safety rules always because. Uh, these rules help us to prevent the accidents and student if we are following all the safety rules in spite of that accidents may occur and then we have discussed about the immediate or the first help given to the injured person before the doctor arrives is known as first aid and we can also use an another term for it that is known as first help to the victim or to the injured person okay after that we have discussed that uh, there is a box that contains all the things which are required to, to give first aid okay and the box is known as first aid box and we have already discussed that it contains the things like cotton, bandage, gauze, scissor, antiseptic lotion, cream and band-aid. Along with it, we can also keep some uh, medicines, okay, which are painkiller, okay, and like thermometer to measure the temperature of a person who is suffering from fever. Okay, student. So, today in continuation of that, today we will discuss the excise portion of this chapter 2. Time to practice. And question A is, tick the correct option. Here some questions are given to you. Along with it, four options are given. And you have to tick on the option which is the correct answer of that particular question. Okay, so let's start. The first one is, accidents can Accidents happen due to options are A. Carelessness, B. Carefulness, C. Others and D. Overconfidence. So as we have discussed that if we are careless, so that will lead to accident because we have to follow the safety rules. And if we are careless in following the safety rules, that may lead to accidents. So option A. Carelessness is the correct answer of this question 1. Next student, question 2 is, which of the following should not be touched with wet hands? And options are given to you, A, pan, B, towel, C, curtains, D, electric switch. So, as we have discussed, when our hands are wet, at that time, we should not touch the electric switches because it may give us shock. Okay, so the D is the correct answer, electric switch. Next one is question 3 is we should not play with A. Caesar, B. Knives, C. Blades, D. All of these. And student as we have discussed that scissors, knives, blades all are sharp object and it may, uh, that may hurt us if we play with these object. Okay. So D. All of these is the correct answer of this question 3. Next question 4 is. A wet towel is put on the forehead in case of options are A. Wound, B. Burn, C. Fever, D. Fracture. So, as we all know that in case of fever, we should put a wet towel on the forehead so that the temperature of the body uh, further will not increase and immediately we should consult a doctor. So, C. Fever is the correct answer of this question 4. Okay, next question fifth is, which of the following should not be a part of first aid box? And options are A, antiseptic lotion, B, cotton, C, scissors, D, cell. So, student, in this question, you have to tick on the one which is not a part of first aid box. So, as we have discussed that, first aid box is a box that contains the things which are required to give first aid or first help to the injured person and options are given antiseptic lotion cotton scissors so these all are the part of first aid box okay so cell cell is not we a part of first aid box so d cell is the correct answer of this question fifth okay student next after this excise b is there 
write t if the statement is true and f if the statement is false in the box in this some statements are given to you and you have to write t if the statement is true and f if the statement is false okay in the given box so first one is always stand in front of or behind the swing so student this a statement is false because we have to stand always away from the swing because if we stand in front or just behind of it it may hurt us so this one is false so we will write f for this first one next one is question 2 do not leave the floor wet we should not leave the floor wet because if we step on that we may slip and we get hurt so this one is true and we will write t for this question second for this statement second next student the third one is do not use sharp objects like blades or knives to sharpen your pencils so student this statement is also true because we should always use a sharpener to sharpen our pencils okay so this statement is true we will write t for this one next the fourth one is if a person is bleeding put a wet cloth over it so this statement is false okay we have to put a wet cloth even only when a person is suffering from forehead so this uh, statement is false and we will write f for this and if a person is bleeding then we should tie a clean handkerchief over it or we can uh, apply a bandage over it okay so this one is false we will write f for this statement next the fifth one is do not crowd around the injured person so this statement is true because uh, if a person is in injured uh, we should not crowd around him and let the injured person feel comfortable so for this we should make a distance from that person and should not crowd around him so this statement is true hence we will write t for this statement fifth one okay student next is next is exercise c is match the following in this column a and column b are given to you and some points are given in column a and some in column b here you have to match this column a with the column b so the first one is given bleeding and in case of bleeding we should tie a bandage over that bleeding area so this one is match with c bandage here we will write one for this one second the wound in case of wound we should apply a antiseptic lotion so this wound second one will match with d antiseptic lotion next one is the third one is high fever and in case of high fever we should apply a wet cloth on the forehead of the person who is having fever so this third one will match with a wet cloth next the fourth one is burn in case of burn we should keep the burn area under running water till the burning ses burning sensation subsides okay so this burn will match with b running water so student these are the answers of your exercise a b and c that's all for today thank you and have a nice day